know, Jamie, this is your 13th season? Yes. Does it seem like it's been that long? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to have so much success, I mean, what do you really attribute that to? Um, you know, uh, I, I obviously have to blame it on the players. So they, they buy into a culture and they buy into a system, um, which is really fun. So I, it's definitely 100% all them. And coach, also, I mean, the different areas that you guys recruit from, I mean, for instance, I mean, University of Hawaii, all the way over here, I mean, that seems like that's going to be one of your key pickups. Yeah, absolutely. No, um, you know, just because of the history of our success, we get a lot of great uh, kickbacks who, you know, aren't necessarily happy with the institution that they're at, so they want to come back and be a part of a successful program. And, um, you know, they at least do their homework and see that we have a good, good history of success. So that definitely helps. And is it still Mesa that you look forward to most every season or is it just everybody that you like to compete against? You know, it's kind of get that point where it's, uh, it's everybody. <laughs> Because I know it's, in the past it's been, it's usually been Mesa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's a, every match is fun. Every, I think these girls are really excited to stop beating up on each other in practice. So we have a really um, fun, competitive environment in practice. And um, outside of that, it's just somebody other than themselves, which is great. <laughs> what, keep, what propels you to keep going? I mean, it is 13 seasons. Um, what really propels you to continue? You know, I'm uh, one of those um, crazy competitive people, so it's it's <laughs> it's a pride thing for me. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I love every single season. So every season, I get excited about it. Um, you know, I, I still just am excited every single day to go to practice. You know, that's fun to me. So um, until I lose that, I, I got to stick around. So you're still definitely uh, at the teaching aspect of it, enjoying it. Absolutely. And as far as um, going on the road and being at home, I mean, is there really a difference as far as you're concerned? No, I think that on the road is definitely just an opportunity to put ourselves in adverse conditions. Um, you know, I'm a fan of, you know, playing in you know, nice hot gyms and <laughs> humidity and putting pressure and pressure and more pressure um, on my players. So I think that, you know, the more we play, if we're at home, it's fun. But if we're away, it's just an opportunity to get better with pressure. And you, I mean, you, you definitely, uh, you see another banner hanging there, I'm sure. I do, I do. I think this is going to be a really fun year. Um, you know, we have some great kids this year. We have some great returners. Um, our returners have really put in a lot of hard work to be um, better this season than they were last season. And we have some great um, incoming players that are going to make a huge contribution. So, yeah. Yeah, I saw you got a few freshmen that came in that seemed pretty excited about the Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, um, how long you've been playing volleyball, and what inspired you to play volleyball? Um, I've been playing volleyball since I was seven years old, and my dad played professional volleyball and basketball in Europe, so it kind of like comes down from the family, um, he, and he's been training me since I was little, yeah. And what did you play before? Um, I played at University of Hawaii last year. And then I graduated from Cathedral Catholic, played there. And what was your position there? Um, I played outside, right side, middle, kind of Everywhere. wherever they put me, yeah. And what's the difference in those programs when they come into Girls Smart College? Um, there's a lot of differences. I think, honestly though, the intensity level at this college it's something that's very, very similar to a D1 program that I was not expecting, um, which is really great for me because I'm trying to transfer back into another one, like D1 program, and I think this is the best place to go because it, the level that our coach pushes us at is the same level that a lot of D1 programs are pushing their players at. Um, I think one of the main differences is probably just 
you're not playing in front of thousands and thousands of fans, but honestly, like, the coaching staff here is, like, something you'd see at a typical D1 program. And, and how did your decision to come to Girl Smart, how did that come about? Because, I mean, you got Southwestern, you have Mesa, you have Palomar. Yeah, um, so after I had some issues in Hawaii, I quit the team, walked off, and um, I started being in contact with Jamie. And basically she just explained to me, like, why this program was at so much of a different level, like, the way they train their girls here, the way they push their girls' practice here, it's different than any other community college that I'm going to see. And I'm coming from ankle surgery, so I wasn't trying to go right back into another D1 program. So this was honestly the best option that I could have gone to, and I'm really, really grateful that it worked out the way it did. When you see the history of the championships, too, I mean, you, you see them on the wall, especially the women's volleyball. And... What do you look forward to most um, as far as uh, when you're on the floor? Um, for me, I think getting another one of those banners. Um, I never really felt that last year, but I did in high school, and that is the most amazing feeling for me possible is like that adrenaline rush of being able to win a national championship. Um, so that's the goal here, definitely, and we're going to do it. We're going to. Absolutely. Um, what are you majoring in? Um, right now, psychology, but um, I'm thinking of transferring. I was animal science, and I'm thinking of going back to animal science to pursue a um, vet career. Well, they're, they're both definitely exciting professions, so... Okay, Haley, so you're new to the program. Um, as you know, that Grossmont College have a history of all the women's volleyball, of being very successful. And tell me a little bit about where you played before. I am from Washington, and so I played at Puget Sound Volleyball Academy and found it here, loved Coach Ivers, and here I am. <laughs> Now, what, what actually helped you to make that choice? Because there's several community colleges to play for. Mm -hmm. So I looked around in the area because I was interested in Southern California. So I looked at the coaches, I looked at the programs, emailed a couple of them. She was one of the ones that got back to me, and she told me to come visit. I came, fell in love with the campus, fell in love with her, and these girls are just awesome. I'm so happy to be here. And as, as far as it is so far, is there anybody that you really mess with something I mean, that stands out on the team? Uh, I mean, we have a lot of great hitters, so it's been fun connecting with all of them and trying to find our flow with all of them. So I'm having a great time with everyone, honestly. And I'm sure the veterans have been very helpful. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and if you look at the schedule, I mean, I know you haven't played all of them yet, but is there anybody in particular that you see on the schedule that you look forward to playing? All of them. All of them. I'm just ready to play. I'm ready to get fired up right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Lexi, is this your sophomore year? Yes. And if you had to compare the two seasons, what are the differences you can spot? I think that last year definitely, um, it's different the way that the team chemistry this year. We're definitely a lot closer. Um, we've been focusing on that a lot. So, I think that that's definitely helped us in our play, too. So I think just the team chemistry is definitely different. And where, how long have you been playing volleyball organized? I think since about 12. Yeah, 12 years old. And what's your what's your favorite position on that? I love playing on the right side. I like the fast sets for sure. But I like playing them all, honestly. And who is your, who is your biggest rival in the conference, would you say? I honestly think every team. I could go out there every team wanting to just win, but I wouldn't say we have like one specific rival. We just want to beat them all. <laughs> so there's nobody in particular that you circle on the calendar that you look most forward to defeating? I'm definitely looking forward to Saddleback. I think that we want to go out there and get them. Yeah, I think that's every sport at Gross Mont. We, yeah, we, we want definitely to Saddleback. saddleback. <laughs> and um, now, who, who do you say that uh, if you had to throw out some names on the, on the court, that help you achieve your success um, so far this year? 
Yeah, this year I would definitely say Lexi, Kiwi, Shaney, we all really pick each other up. Obviously our setters have been pulling through really well this season to get our like sets right, get our hitting right. Um, yeah, like I said before, I think our team chemistry, like everyone has kind of encouraged each other, so it's not just specific people, but definitely the returners have pulled together, so all the returners I'd say have definitely helped me out. Well, you have a history of championships yes. playing here at Girls Sports, yes. so. And, and last but not least, how is it to play for Coach Ivers? Oh, she's the best. Honestly, she's helped me so much, not even just like physically and skill-wise, but mentally and just helping me become the best player and getting out of my head all the time. So I'm so thankful for her, definitely. And what are you majoring in? Business. Beginning of the season, and I'm sure you're looking forward to it. And how much different has it been so far early on than last season? Um, definitely completely different. Uh, the team this year is uh, definitely a lot more disciplined because we know what our coach expects of us and what we expect from one another. Um, so we're definitely really excited to get this season started and uh, you know, kick some butt. And as far as the, who you're going to be facing this season, is there anybody in particular you're looking forward to playing? Uh, absolutely. So we're looking forward to playing Mesa, who is our longtime rivals. Um, we're looking forward to playing LA Pierce. They're, um, you know, a huge rival as well. And um, SBCC, they beat us in three last year, but we came back and did the same thing. So we're looking forward to beating them in two this year. And now, how many years has you played volleyball now? Uh, I've played volleyball for my fifth year now. And who were you playing for prior? Say it again, sorry. As far as high school? High school, I played for Heritage High School in Menifee, California. Okay. And what is probably your favorite part of the sport? Um, definitely just having a family-oriented environment. It's just nice having a home away from home all the time, no matter where I am. And what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in sociology.